are at Tree Point Conservation Reserve, northeast of Darwin, and we're both really chuffed to have been invited out by the Larrakia, the traditional owners of Darwin and a lot of the surrounding areas, to check out how they're caring for their country with some really practical hands-on work. We started up as a bush care program actually about uh, 19, nearly 20 years ago. Um, just a small funded project and sort of built it to the program that it is today. So I've uh, got 14 staff. I'm very proud of the work we do. Donna Jackson is a Larrakia woman who really cares about this place and its rich diversity of wildlife and plants. <laughs> so this is a uh, bush peanut, Circulia. Yep. It's, uh, it's not just for me, it's for old people that have come before us and told us that story, that's our job to look after country, that's our responsibility, um, and for these young mob coming through too. Donna's in charge of a team who are kept busy caring for different parts of the Darwin region. So we go from uh, roughly from the mouth of the Finnis River to the mouth of the Adelaide River, uh, and about 50 k's inland. So a lot of saltwater country, a lot of freshwater country, and lots of country to look after. They're busy clearing out the exotic plant point piana, which is a common garden tree throughout Darwin, but is becoming a choking weed out here. All right, well, let's try and clear yeah, a bit of this to the side. Carl, why are you doing this work? Oh, because all these are botanical trees and take over the natives. Do you feel overwhelmed or, or do you value just a little bit? Yeah, bit by bit, I have, I guess. Once the Ponciana has been cleared, they're revegetating with local native species. One of these one are the, the lucky one to plant this red bush apple, um, Cisidium subapiculari. Uh, you can eat that. Apple straight off the tree, it goes red that, that big. Wow. Um, it's a little bit bitter, a bit of sweet, a bit like a rosella, it's up there in my meal. Fertility in that soil. So, what have we got here, Donna? So, this is that uh, the one that does actually live in the forest, the um, white apple or the little uh, bush apple so same as the red one we put in but um, different species different fruit and more similar to rainforest or monsoon growing forest so how big does it grow yeah probably about seven eight meters decent size um beautiful spreading tree so it gets all this like, nice sort of spreading action birds just love it absolutely love it and um good shade Alina, what do you love about doing this work? Uh, just working on country, especially Larrakia country, seeing that I'm a Larrakia woman, and to be able to be a, um, a role model for future generations and to have this beautiful land here. I think it makes me feel proud, you know, because my mum, my grandmother were Larrakia women, and for my kids to have something, you know, to look forward to being out on their country and just looking after the land and the sea and the animals, yeah. Their hard work has encouraged a lot of native species to return, including a surprise visitor, the Darwin Atlas Moth. Uh, not long after we'd come up here, clear, cleared some of the Poinciana, um, put some reverb in, let some of the natives come back themselves. Uh, the fellas, or the actual manager who's run the program before, Carl, spotted a um, pupae, I guess you call it, a cocoon. Um, and he was pretty sure he knew what it was and then somebody saw a grub not long after that and they're quite a pretty distinct grub and uh, it was confirmed that it was an atlas moth. It's a pretty big moth isn't it? It's huge, I've, I've never seen one. I would love yep. to see one like that. It is wonderful to see what a difference these ranges are making. And I look at the work that they're doing and, and really you can relate it to the problems that us gardeners have in our backyards. You've got an overgrown area, don't look at the big picture and be overwhelmed. Just get started and make a difference. Let's give them a hand. I reckon they need some. Because it's great to see how revegetation can bring back a threatened species back home to where it belongs. I couldn't agree more. It's been a real pleasure to spend time with the rangers, but 
that's all we've got time for this week.